Jada, and she had a little baby on the side, or not a baby, but a child. And the child, every little while, she's actually checking on the child, and she's sitting on that musalla, making dua and reading her own salah. These people fulfilled their salah, did whatever they had to. Uh, and w when they were about to leave, they spoke to the old lady, saying, you know, thank you very much, Jazakumullah khair, and so on. And, you know, uh, we Baby, you can call me a superman. Chuchu tuta takani takuka ma. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video today. I'm going to be reacting to The Power of Door, a true story by Mufti Mink. Um, if you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. I hope you guys are having a lovely day. I wish mine was lovely, but. It's just alright. So if there's anything that you guys would like us to react to, let us know in the comment section below. Other than just giving us the name, sometimes um, you can just be so kind as to add the link as well and we'll do everything for you. So yeah, without wasting any time, let's get into the video. Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Never ever underestimate the power of Allah. You know, there, there was a sheikh who mentioned this in Saudi Arabia. And there was a doctor that visited him from Pakistan. And told him a story that happened to him. So he says, what happened to me? He says, he, the doctor who's speaking, is a top neurologist. One of the top doctors in Pakistan. Or, you know, a very, very good doctor. Very hard to meet. It said that perhaps you would have to wait months on end before you can get an appointment to see him. So what happened is, he says, I was flying from one city to another. Very busy man flying quite often within the, the country and perhaps even outside. And he says, suddenly, the clouds built. The clouds built up. Huge clouds and the lightning started striking and it started pouring and there was lots of turbulence and one of the engines was struck and it was damaged. So we had to land. We had to land. And so what happened is, the landing was at a nearby little airport or a little strip and so on. And when they landed there, it was a remote area. How are you going to repair this aircraft? A few people who were on it, it was a small plane. They were, uh, you know, quite surprised because they landed in such a remote place. No one's there to repair it. They would ha have to wait, definitely. So the doctor asks the captain or the pilot that, you know what, uh, how long are you going to be? He says, no, we're going to be quite long. Well, I need to get to that area. Look, he says, it's just a three hour drive with your, by vehicle. So why don't you just go by road? You know, you can go there and get there. He says, okay, good idea, because this is going to take long. So he decides to go on one of the tri shows, you know, in Pakistan, one of the areas, wherever it was, and he jumped in. And as they started progressing, the clouds built again. And the lightning was striking, and the rain started pouring. And it was pouring so much that their the vehicle could not move much more because of the mud and because of everything else. And so it was quite an open area with a bit of farmland. And, and after a while, they realized, look, we're not getting anywhere. There's a little house here. Why don't we just go there? We can read our salah. Perhaps we can, you know, see, have a bit of a meal or whatever else. And they decided to knock the door. Strange people, strange land, far off, out in the rurals. And so he knocks the door and he's got his little bag and everything. And he walks in. Uh, an old lady happened to answer the door after a while. And she, they spoke to her saying, look, this is what has happened. And we're going from so-and-so to so-and-so. And we just want a place. We want to read salah and so on. And she said, no problem, you can come in. She had a little musalla, a little sajjada. And she had a little baby on the side. Or not a baby, but a child. And the child, every little while, she's actually checking on the child. And she's sitting on that musalla, making dua and reading her own salah. These people fulfilled their salah, did whatever they had to. Uh, and w when they were about to leave, they spoke to the old lady, saying, you know, thank you very much, Jazakumullah khair, and so on. And, you know, uh, we're going, what's, what's happening to this child, you know? So the woman says, look, the child is an orphan. And the child is unwell, not well at all, very sick. And uh, we've been to all the doctors around. We've been to all the doctors around. And subhanallah, I'm the grandmother of this child. The doctors have told us that there is only one specialist around. One specialist around who can help this child. And we tried to make an appointment, but they asked us to come six months later. And it's far away. I've been making dua to Allah ever since that day. Ya Allah, make it easy for us. Child is sick. Child is sick. Make it easy for us, Ya Allah. 
So, the man says, what's the name of that specialist? So, the granny says, it's Dr. Ishan. Immediately, this doctor burst into tears. He burst into tears. Straight away, he burst into tears. Why are you crying? Your dua has just been accepted. For your dua, the thunder came, the lightning came, the engine struck, we came down, we came on the road, the rain came again and stopped us and so on. And do you know what? The rain only stopped after the question was asked. Now it happened. And now the woman starts crying. Subhanallah. And the doctor himself is telling the story saying, that was me, it happened to me, he says. And he says, I learned that Allah's armies are beyond limits. Allah uses whatever He wants to get what He wants done. So, where in the wildest of the dreams of this person would they have felt or believed that the top man whom it is semi-impossible to see without big, big appointments would actually be driven all the way to the door, knock the door, come in here, read some salah and they would have to serve the child here. Amazing. Wallahi brings tears to the eyes. But the reason I share it with you, every one of us has needs for Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just keep calling. Just have yaqeel. Have conviction. If it is meant, it will definitely come in your direction. You know, we use the term by hook or crook, but I don't want to use that today. I want to tell you by the mercy and power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it will happen. It will come to pass. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us. May He open our doors. May he grant us all shifa and may he make us firm believers that for him nothing is impossible. Donate now. Go to the dailyreminder.org slash donate and stay updated by joining our network social links. And that's a very touching Story. First question is first. I feel like I've asked this before though. What's door? I've googled it, but I don't know what's the simplest way of someone to understand. Is it a prayer or need? Is it I don't know, just help me understand this. We need God. So when we need God we should pray to Him, we should talk to Him. When we ask, we're meant to be given. But it also depends on what you're asking for. Be certain that your mind and heart are thinking the same thing. Like he said, if it's meant to be, it will come your way. Sometimes it may take a while, but your prayers will be answered one day. Just don't give up. Also, I like the fact that he mentioned god will use different things in the world different objects to send out a message first it was the aircraft second the little motorcycle thing and you end up where you're actually needed that should say a lot i know some people out there saying oh but this doesn't happen it actually happens once in a while it's a rare case but it does happen such things do happen when you're praying, have the belief that you're going to get what you want. Your heart's desire, desires are going to be granted to you. But then when they're granted to you, what will you do? I like the beginning of the video as well. They said, do not underestimate the power of God, Allah. Not once should you sit down and say, I'm done with this just because one thing that you're asking for hasn't been granted to you there's many things to be thankful for first be thankful for your life before you get to these other things that you want this is just a pretty example of what god can do in your life what god can give you we've watched so many videos and for once this one like t i had tears in my eyes I've had tears in my eyes before, but this one, I almost cried. But then I remembered I was on a video. It's so hard. It's, it's just touching. It's just too, too touching. 
a big shout out to the person that requested this these are the videos that people should be seeing have faith have belief do not underestimate god help others when you can because this doctor could have decided to say okay the rain is done let me go where i'm supposed to go but because he prayed because he's prayerful he know he knew what to do you just can't leave someone even if you've got somewhere to go i don't think you can at least that's my opinion let me know what you feel about this video and how you feel about my reaction and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next reaction video